Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Colonel David Maxwell. I'm the commander of Marine Corps Base Quantico. It's been a long night as we have uh, begun to deal with the tremendous loss that uh, happened last night. And on behalf of Marine Corps Base Quantico and the Officers Candidate School, I want to express my sincere condolences to the families, the friends, and the Marines of the three Marines that we lost last night. Our thoughts and prayers are with them at this time. This is, a, this is truly a tragic loss again uh, for the Marine Corps, which has had a number of tragic losses in the last <coughs> couple of weeks. Thursday evening's fatal shooting was confined to Taylor Hall, a single barracks at Officers Candidate School. The quick reaction of our Provost Marshal's office and Prince William County Police enabled us to assess the extent of the situation and act quickly to resolve it. The shooter, an active duty Marine, was pronounced dead of an apparent self-inflicted gunshot wound by law enforcement at the scene. Two other victims, a male and female, both active duty Marines, were pronounced dead at the scene. The three Marines involved in this incident were all permanent personnel assigned to officers' candidate school. All of the candidates in the school are accounted for and safe, and all of the other permanent personnel as well with the officers' candidate school are as well accounted for. The identities of the victims themselves will be withheld for the next 24 hours or until the primary next of kin have have been notified. At 10.30 p.m., a 911 call was received by the Provost Marshal's office. Within five minutes of notification, authorities were on the scene. Authorities did not report hearing any shot or firing any shot. By 11 p.m., Quantico's security had been heightened and the mass notification via the giant voice notification system began to pass instructions to base residents and their and employees. During crises and, and situations like these, the safety of our Marines, their families, civilian Marines aboard Quantico is always a priority and paramount in what we do. At 2.30 a.m., the restrictions were lifted and the base returned to normal operations. Additionally, I do want to note that there were some comments that have been in the press about a standoff or about barricades, and neither of those, uh, that was not the situation this morning. There, were no, there was not a standoff or barricades. I ask as we go into this for your patience as we conduct a thorough investigation. I anticipate it will be a very lengthy one, and I don't anticipate being able to provide any further details of the incident until at least after we've gotten and confirmed the next of kin notification. Our base and the unit chaplains are currently providing counseling support along with the, the Marines of Officer Candidate School to ensure that we are taking care of the well-being of the Marines and the families aboard Quantico who have been affected by this, by this loss and this tragedy. As we take care of our Marines and their families that are dealing with this tragedy, I'd also ask for the support of our neighbors, the community, and their thoughts and prayers as well for our, for our Marines who have lost their, their uh, comrades in arms. Thank you. Semper Fidelis.